Liquid was developed at at and Bell Laboratories of USA in 1972. It was designed and written by a man called Dennis Ritchie. I believe that all of you are aware of the fact that our computers can only execute the code in the binary format, uh, which is uh, the combination of zeros and ones. To convert our code from source code to the binary format, uh, we need a software, and that software is called compiler. And the process of converting the source code to the binary format is called compilation. Since we are using this compilation process to execute our source code, C is also called a compiled language. The next thing I will see is C is a structural programming language, which means that C allows you to structure your code using the using some functions and uh, procedures. If you are a newbie out there and you don't know what is a function and what's a procedure, don't worry. Just remember that C allows you to structure your program. Then the next thing about C is C belongs to the category of mid-level programming language. Being a mid-level programming language, C combines the best language elements of higher level languages like uh, COBOL or Modular 2 or ADA with the control and flexibility of the assembly level language. Then comes the question, why should I have to study this C language when there are many other languages available in the world? So the reason for that we are going to see next. Okay, Learning C++ or Java directly is not an easy task. It's because this C++ or Java uses some object oriented programming approach. This object oriented programming approach introduces some concepts or the advanced concepts like uh, class, objects, then uh, inheritance, then uh, polymorphism and templates and many more. To understand these complex concepts, you should be aware of the basic language elements. If you are good in basic language elements or you know the basic language elements, then you can learn these object oriented languages a lot easier. The next thing about C, if you talk about the performance, no other language can beat C. Because of this reason, major parts of the operating systems like Windows or the Linux or the Unix are written in C. Then if you have to closely interact with the hardware without compromising the performance, then C is going to be your first choice. Just think that you are coding for a microwave oven or the washing machine, where the performance is a major factor and you have very less resources are available. At that time, you can use this.